pick wrong times to do a couple of those type things, and hopefully we can tighten them all up because, you know, it's tough. You, you can't make those mistakes and you know, expect to beat, uh, you know, really good football teams. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. They're getting better, so says Hawaii head coach June Jones when talking about the UH football team's offensive line, who as a unit is tied for first in the WAC with only five sacks allowed. Warriors tops in conference, fifth in the nation, averaging 554 total yards and 52.3 points per game. Throwing the ball, Hawaii leads the country almost 495 yards per outing. Coach is happy with those numbers and happy as well after UNLV with the development of his one-two punch at running back in Keoloha Polaris and Leon Wright Jackson. Well, I thought Keoloha really played well. He, you know, he ran the ball real well and made some nice cuts. Uh, you know, Leon's kind of feeling his way still, but second half when I gave him, got him back in after I talked with him, I thought he turned it up a little bit. I, I would think that real shortly those two guys will be pretty pretty good players. Hawaii quarterback Colt Brennan, who led UH past the Rebels 49-14 Saturday night on a sprained right ankle, had an MRI last night that showed no significant damage. He's been hopeful, probably won't practice till Thursday, but is expected to play this Saturday when the Warriors host Charleston Southern, its second Division I double-A opponent of the season. You know, you got to be able to do that. I mean, that, that injury, you better be able to play with it or you're not going to you're not going to uh, ever make it in the National Football League, I tell you that. I also expect Tyler Grunke to get lots of reps at QB. Warriors up from 24th to 19th in the AP poll, up four spots to 18th in this week's coaches poll.